Go lady. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? My name is Kat. Kat, how old are you? I'm 35. And what do you do? I'm an electrician. Oh, And okay. I also model. <laughs> now what is... Electrician? Well, hold on. I gotta see. We got an Adam's apple up there. Let me see. She may be a... Uh... I, I... Can't see nothing right now. You feel me? But... She tall. She ain't ugly, though. So, for the tall kings who like electricians... I just don't know. She giving me, you know, bumblebee type vibes, if y'all know what I mean. Y'all know the movie Shia LaBeouf. Put it together. Y'all feel me? But, yeah, man. Um, Thank you guys for watching the video. Put y'all cash up in the comments. You know how I do. Also, if you want to um join a $1,000 giveaway, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at 200 underscore acres. I had people asking me for the new subscribers. Do I really bless bless people through Cash Shop? I mean, just ask the people I bless. Ask the comments. That's why I need when y'all get blessed, y'all got to put in the comments so people can know. I know a lot of y'all. And even if I was lying to y'all, everything in the dark comes to light. <laughs> Everything in the dark comes like you see how all of these people getting exposed. If I was lying and faking, trust me, I'll be exposed too. I know too much. That's how you know I ain't finna do nothing like that. If I say it, I'm gonna do it. Look into the video, fam. Things you do for fun? Um, I like to. I like to do everything. I like to go shoot pool, um, play spades, um, skating. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's some, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, so I'm looking for someone who is genuinely trying to get to know me and court me and make me a part. Shoot pool. So you're an electrician and you shoot pool. Pool, that's like a manly thing. You don't hear too many females talking about I like to shoot pool. Y'all get where I'm going? All right, man. Y'all feel me? I'm trying to. I'm trying to. And get y'all to put two and two together, you hear me? Their situation and not just, you know, keep me around as a placeholder. Mm. And... Okay, now what are some deal breakers? Deal breaker. Um, bad hygiene. Okay. Someone who texts me what you doing all day <laughs> with no, like, substance to the conversation. Mm. Um, that's pretty much it. Okay, <laughs> no problem. So we did get a pop balloon. Let's okay. go on over there see why they ended up popping. Okay. All right, if we can have your name and age. I'm Danny, I'm 38. Okay. And Danny, why did you end up popping your balloon? You know, she's a very beautiful woman, came out here with presents. Um, but we just being completely honest. I got a type, I like mine's, you know, a little bit thicker, you know, I'm like no ass, it won't last type dude. So I just like, <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, I'm just here to find my type. All right. All right. All right. Now, is Danny someone that's your type? Um, he's okay. Well, I don't know him personally, but he's honest. I think a lot of them cheeks important, bro. Like, you gotta have them. Like, me, because I like my women. Like, my wife, thick. You hear me? Like, I don't, I can't do the bones. You hear me? But if you are a bones, that's cool. Everybody got their type for what they like. You feel me? So, ain't nothing wrong with being skinny. You know, but some people like a little meat, like myself. Some people like no meat at all, like a lot of people, you know. So, like that. <laughs> Thank you. And we did get a pop back here, if we can have your name and age. Yeah, my name is Micah, and I'm 42. Okay. And Micah, why did you end up popping your balloon? The reason I popped was because just the overall, uh, just the energy I'm getting from her. It wasn't, I wasn't... Um, gravitating to it, um, just some of the things she was talking about. It didn't seem to align with my life, so, okay. yeah. Okay. <laughs> and now is uh, Micah someone that's your type? Um, he's okay also. Um, 
He's not ugly, so that's cool. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Micah. <laughs> Let's head on back. All right. So we do have uh, three guys remaining. I'm mm-hmm. going to go ahead and have you ask them a question just to help us narrow it down. Okay. What's you guys' toxic trait? Oh, okay. What's your toxic trait? Let's start you with know. your name and you age know, first. You know. uh, my name is La. I'm 40. Um... I don't know. I don't think I got no toxic traits. Uh, that's the toxic trait right there. Might be. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um, yeah, I don't know. I okay. can't even tell you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nothing Not scares. Nothing scares the women away. Huh? Nothing scares the women away. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> so there's nothing about you where like, man, I should really work on this one piece of me, like. Um. I think in my younger, like, you know, when I was younger, yeah. Okay. You know, I has, you know, a few toxic traits, but I think, you well, know. Well, when's the last time you've been in, like, a relationship? Uh, I want to say about eight years. When was that? What do you mean? When was the last time you were in a relationship? Yeah, like eight, eight years, years ago. ago eight, eight years, years ago, ago, everything was perfect. Nah, it wasn't perfect, but, you know. But that was eight <laughs> years ago. Like, but you got to realize, he's 40. Like, it is, like... As you grow older, like a lot of them traits, it's things like if you are a person that fix yourself, a lot of those things you fix by the age of 40. So it's hard. I can understand how it's hard for them to blame. I don't really know because a lot of things I fix, I'm older now. And the fact that she, the first thing you say, what's your toxic trait? That make me think you like toxicity. <laughs> That's what it made me think. You feel me? Nah, it wasn't. <laughs> you plead the fifth. Why we, <laughs> you plead the fifth. You plead Why the we fifth. end up popping? Nah, I just I don't know. She don't believe that I, I could just be too good to be true. That's it. I don't know. I don't know. Have like, you met men? No, I don't talk to men. I'm sorry. <laughs> You gotta. Um, I'm just kidding. I have but, to talk um, to Trey too. So okay. Yeah, but she's a beautiful girl. Now, you know. okay. No problem. So let's go to our other two guys then. <laughs> if we can have your name and age, and what's your toxic trait? Uh, Hubert, 37. Uh-huh. Uh, I have three. Oh. Um, oh, I'm flirtatious. I can be moody. Uh, and I can sometimes be nonchalant. That boy fruity. I can, I knew off his vibe. That boy fruitcake. What per se? Oh, I have three. I'm not. Oh, I can be flirty. I know it's something about that nigga Hubert. I said, didn't I say the first one I did with Hubert in it? That as soon as he said his name, he was like, oh, my name Hubert. I said, I won't even rock with a nigga named Hubert. If y'all ain't Hubert, you can't be my friend, bro. Like, ain't no way in the world. Like, that's just the name you just know you can't trust somebody named Hubert. Like, if they, bro, come on, bro. Hubert? Man. About my attachment. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. We're good. All right, we got one more. Name, age, and what's your toxic trait? I'm Johnny. I'm 38. My toxic trait is, I, I think, I, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I expect consistency. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. This n- this nigga right here look like he'll steal the copper out of your house. I ain't gonna lie. I wanted to say it in the beginning, but like he just give me them because you you gotta realize I'm from Birmingham, and in Birmingham you got these niggas that just be walking down the street dressed like him. I ain't I ain't even talking about the face tattoos. I ain't worried about none of that. I'm just talking about the way nigga dress. Like niggas like that, and them niggas will steal the copper out of your house so fast, and they even talk like this nigga. Them them the niggas that be walking down the street, you be trying to go to your car and be like, hey, what up, what up, what up, fam? Just just to say something, I'm like, hey, man, what up, man? Oh, you got a couple of dollars? I'm like, nah, bro. They just waiting for you to leave so they can go get the copper. You hear me? I'm telling you, he give me that vibe, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, the same energy I put in, I expect the same thing. And some people don't give you that. And That's not toxic. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that part. That's it. So no one has any time. That's okay. That's okay. okay. All right. <laughs> <Head on back. laughs> All right. So since you asked that question, what's your toxic trait? Um, I like to be love bombed. 
I think it's romantic. I don't know why I'm like this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. Why did we end up popping our balloon, Hubert? That sounds crazy as hell. <laughs> like, you want me to love bomb you? Like, understanding what love bombing is. Yes. No. <laughs> and I just told you I can be nonchalant, so it won't work. Yeah. Okay. Understood. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> so before you ended up popping over the love bombing thing, is she someone that's your type? She's attractive. Yeah, she could be wrong. Wait, hold up. Don't love bombing mean I just, like, display a whole bunch of, like, gifts and love to you and then just leave you? Like, just leave you? Is she slow? Like, I'm serious. Is she slow? So you like to be left? Bro, I ain't got time. I don't know if she could be <laughs> permanently or not, but she could be around for sure. Okay. <laughs> you know how you are. Right. Now, is he someone that's your type? Um, yeah, I guess. He's cool. Um, all right. We're going to move And we do have one balloon left unpopped. Mm -hmm. Any other questions between the two of you? No. Uh, oh, do you have a question? No. You have any questions? How do you deal with your trauma? Um, I go to therapy. That part. We ain't got yeah. no more questions. I ain't got no <laughs> <laughs> How do you deal with your trauma? Therapist. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah. It's the that best part. ever. Yeah. Right? <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, any other questions between you? Bro, she might not have had that, bro. I'm telling you, he's going to steal her car. I'm telling you. I remember, watch the follow up if he pick her. No, I ain't got nothing else no. to say. Oh, okay, let me bring you up. Come on up. Come on up. <laughs> All right. All right. So y'all say you have no further questions. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask mine. So is it gonna be a yes for you for her? Hell yeah. Oh, is it a yes for you for him? No. Ooh. She did it so nonchalantly, bro. She was like, no, that boy hurt. <laughs> that boy hurt. He thought, he thought he had a one. <laughs> hey, he hurt, bro. Look at this. <laughs> hey, that one hurt. Man, he thought he had a good one, bro. <laughs> John. Okay, so. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Okay, why was it a no for you? Um, his teeth. He wore whole ass glasses inside, and it's like ten o'clock at night. Um, and I just couldn't hear half the things that he was saying. Mm, okay. All right. Well. That is all the oh, balloons man. popped, oh, man. we do she think hurt it's like that. Oh, um, she hurt me. And I just couldn't feelings. hear. Oh, Why was shit. it a no for you? Oh, oh um, man. His teeth. He wore whole ass glasses inside, and it's like 10 o'clock at night. Um, and I just couldn't hear half the things that he was saying. Mm, OK. All right. Well. Oh, look at my nigga. Bro, she hurt my nigga feeling. <laughs> Broski. See, that's that look. When them ho you feel me, but she gave him some good info. She gave him some good info, bro. Like, I ain't but now I kinda feel bad for dude, but whoever you is, don't come around me. You feel me? Like, you know, just feel bad somewhere else. But I still feel bad for him, but he just can't he wouldn't come around me, you feel me? Because I'm telling you, he gonna he's still copper. You feel me? Like, I just knew something was, and then the way he talked, he had that Mike Tyson talk. That's how they all talk. It's like they all talk the same, dress the same, walk the same. You feel what I'm saying? And, and it's like, bro, hell no, no, we not having that, bro. But hey, thank you guys for watching the video, man. See you guys next video. And always remember, be safe for the kings and queens. Let's get it.